so hi everyone the first in the random access category is aloha the first protocol aloha is one of the earliest access earliest random access methods and it was uh, devised in university of of hawaii as early as 1970 it was originally designed designed for radio that is wireless lan but that doesn't mean it cannot be used in other so it can be used by any shared medium so well there are still po potential collisions in this but it restricts them somehow to a lesser level as we have just sent them randomly so yeah it does have some good points the original protocol is known as pure aloha so the idea in this protocol is that the station sends whenever it has a frame to send okay say this is station 1 station 2 station 3 and station 4 this whole is our medium and say this is time so let's say this station 1 has sent a frame and it has already sent one before it and in between station 2 has sent and station 3 also at send so yeah you can see there are collisions and during collision these frame will be either destroyed or somehow modified so when collision happens the frames are destroyed and we won't get acknowledgement so what will happen is that this frame and it is in the collision so this frame is destroyed and the timer of this frame will expire and then this frame is destroyed it, the timer of it, it will be also expired so when the timer expires the station 1 will send again the station 3 will send again so what happens as their timers expire and with the same time so again this situation will occur as they will all resend again and this this same kind of plot will be there so to avoid so when all stations attempt to send again similar collision will occur as due to their difference in times collision will occur again so now to protect this collision to avoid more collisions what happens is after the time out each station waits for a 
random amount of of time before resending the frame this time is called back of time the station backs off for this random amount of time back of time denoted as tb so how this is helpful let's say this frame reached and it's time it is destroyed not reached and a timer expire then this frame timer will also expire this will expire so this frame will be sent again this will be sent again and again the difference of them will be same as the timer is predefined but when they back off for some random time say this frame will be here when this frame will be released so yeah there will be much less chance of collision and the second thing we can do if still this is some random amount of time so by luck again there will be collision so and then again the station will send then again will send then again and again and again so to prevent congesting the channel with retransmitted frames there is a max number of transmissions so after some after a uh, define say max number of transmission that is k max a station must queue up and try later that is after a very long time it will retry to send so in the meantime the other station would have sent their frames and there will be much less chance of collision <clears throat> so this timeout period is actually equal to the max possible round trip delay that is this time out is equal to max possible round trip delay or we can say round trip propagation delay what is this is this is the time taken to send a frame between farther stations not actually the time taken it is twice of the twice of the time taken to send a frame between farther station so this is a this is be the time taken to go and come back so 2 into time of propagation so to clear the picture further let's see the concept of vulnerable time so this is some time t and let's define tf to be the average time required to send out a frame so a frame take average time that is tf so let's say at a time t the frame a is sent a and as we have defined this is the average time so this will be tf 
so this time becomes t plus tf so any frame from t to t plus tf if another frame is there there will be a collision so let's say another frame is sent by another station c and similarly if we go back this side that is t minus tf if a frame send is after this time there will be a collision a collision with a let's say if there is frame send just at this it will finish before a starts but any frame after this time let's say here will collide with a as it is out of the slot of tf so now you you can get what it means to be vulnerable time it is the time in which the collision can occur so the vulnerable time of pure aloha is as you can see this t and the tf slot after it and the tf before it so if no other frame is in between then there won't be a collision so the vulnerable time of pure aloha is 2 into t f the the throughput is found out using s is equal to g into e raised to minus 2g this g is the average number of generated during one frame transmission time so this is maximum when throughput is maximum when g equals to half and s max comes out to be 0.184 so what does it mean is that it means that one frame if one frame generated in two transmission time then it will be max you can easily relate it with the vulnerable time as it was 2 into the average time of frame so if only one is generated it between them so it will be maximum throughput as there won't be a chance of collision okay that's all in pure aloha see you next time